Yeah, I mean, it's sort of insane that we're a year into this. You know, what's yeah. crazy is that we entered lockdown on March 12th, 2020. And oh, the we remember. Came out on March 12th. Yeah. And that's not by design necessarily. That was sort of just like the right time to put it out. Um, but it seems, you know, serendipitous that that's the case. And even the last show that I performed live was on February 27th, which is the date of my first performance back on SNL. So all of this stuff just sort of seemed like the stars were aligning and just this is heaven in general basically touches on uh, that feeling of being reunited with your person. Um, you know, for context, Pri went to uh, shoot in Germany for a couple months while I was in LA working on the album and uh, and also just, I was in LA working on other things. And, and so that distance really settled in. And, and then when we finally were uh, back together after this time apart, uh, I went back in and wrote this song with Greg uh, Kirsten Mozella, who I wrote the whole album with. And it was just meant to encapsulate kind of that euphoric feeling of being with your person. And, you know, for me, it's, it's obviously a romantic thing, but I think, you know, for anybody that, that listens to this song or is in, you know, kind of the, this moment we've all been in, it's really about that feeling of when we're going to do that first normal thing again, or when we're going to, you know, see the, the friends and family we haven't seen in almost a year or, or beyond. And uh, it just is supposed to give you that feeling of uh, truly throwing your hands up in the air and saying, oh, finally, you know, and, and that's kind of the energy I wanted this chapter of the album to uh, feel like. But this song, you know, it's, it's got the 80s feels, a big influence for me on this album was Peter, uh, Peter Gabriel and, and Steve Winwood and, and weirdly, you know, things like um, Drake and The Weeknd as well. So it's kind of got all these different 80s influences and inspirations, but this definitely has that Steve Winwood, Michael Bolton kind of feel with the sax solo and just, it's a good time. How many songs on this project do you think will end up being about art? Because I feel like you're still in that honeymoon phase. It's got to be hard as an artist to go in when you're so in love with somebody and not end up just continually writing about them. I just remember being there so very long ago. <laughs> and I feel like if I was an artist, I feel like it would be hard to write about anything else because you're just so like just enthralled with that feeling like you're saying. Well, yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I could try to write something else. The songs are just not as good. So. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs>